Good day, my beautiful friends. It is a newcomer's day in Toronto. They're having a uh, festival here at Nathan Phillips Square. So I'm gonna record a video for y'all. All right, my awesome friends. I think just starting up here, the vendors are just setting up. But shouts out to Kay. For giving me the heads up here. We passed by here. They've had, I think they've had events for quite a few days now. Passed by here on the weekend. Let's check it out here. You can see they got uh, food trucks here. It's a beautiful day here, downtown Toronto. Hi. Oh, okay, sure, sure. So, for most of this video, we're gonna use the wide angle on the iPhone 14 Pro. Every once in a while, I'll zoom in. Life is beautiful. You're beautiful. Remind yourself of that. All right, I just um, was interviewed by a very friendly, smiling, with a shining smile fella named Gotham. What a cool name. Um, one of the event organizers here and interviewing people about their experiences here in Toronto. Poutine and more. They have to try out one of these trucks. Doesn't look like they're open here. I thought they, um, I guess 10 o'clock is when they officially open, but I guess some of the food trucks won't be until maybe closer to lunchtime. So, hope you enjoy this vlog. It'll be more like a vlog style. Maybe we'll try and talk to some people. Looks like uh, Canada, Trinidad and Tobago. Sings Trini vibes. Street food, we have to try that. We have to go some Trini, uh, some Trini food, some West, West Indian. We'll maybe try and talk to some of the vendors here. Of course, they got the brain, um, the brain art here. And we've seen all of these. Uh, and it's uh, always worth another look. Love the vibe here, it's really awesome. I might do one more walkthrough and try it on the selfie for a while too. Maybe make it a little bit more of a vlog style. Let's go over here. Uh, I think I might pick up some of the Trini uh, food. It's 
So far, that's what's catching my eye here. And they seem to have um, some delicious looking food ready to go. See, Toronto Newcomer Day. We have the banner up there. There'll be performances here. And it's free, completely free. Um, and you can support some of the vendors here. Oh, what are they doing in Metrolinx? You can support some of the vendors here, try out some of the foods. So, so I guess, admit, I should say admission is completely free. There's Desjardins, what are they doing? Desjardins, that's a credit union. Very big credit union. I wonder if they're giving away anything here. I may have to enter one of these uh, contests. Metrolinx. Let's see if Metrolinx is giving away anything. New Canadians TV. And I just got a Spiffy Go uh, recyclable Go bag with a free Presto card with $10 loaded on it. So I don't need it, but I'll give it to someone who needs it. A newcomer. Or someone who definitely needs it, but there's a lot of giveaways here. But definitely Desjardins and Metrolinx are the two most popular um, places here. So I'm gonna check out this giveaway right here. So I've got my hands full here. I just picked up uh, another, uh, a free uh, Desjardins recycling bag. Unfortunately, they uh, ran out of a really cool one, so they'll have more later on today. So. Maybe I'll do it on selfie for a bit as I walk. My awesome friends. I don't know if I'm gonna try. I don't know if I'm gonna go through every aisle here or every um, tent here. I think it looks like they've got more giveaways. You scan your QR code and they got contests here. Get your free, oh, free library card. Free library card? I don't get it though. Library TPL cards are free anyway. But oh, I guess, you know, it's for newcomers who don't know. So it's already starting to get a little bit busy here. And it's only gonna pick up a lot later on, lunchtime, lunch hour. So it's a little bit of a tight squeeze here, so I think I might keep it on the selfie instead of trying to, but I'll do my best to show, I'll do my best to show what. I'll try my best here. Show all the, uh, you know what? I can't really show properly here if I just do it like this. I'm gonna have to, You know what, I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna be have the patience to stop by every vendor. Maybe every so often I'll... And you know what? Um, you don't have to worry about any dinguses here because they have a sign clearly stating that you can be uh, photographed or videographed or whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna have the patience to go through every uh, aisle here. It's like a, they got a DJ here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be walking. Ah, I'll try. I'll try. Just saw Buddy with the gimbal there. Ah oh, well, it's cool to see just people watch. Maybe I'll get to interview. I'll try and uh, interview someone who looks interesting or some people that look interesting. Let's let's check out the TPL booths again. See if there's any uh maybe just a giveaway too. I'll give you my business card though. They got a big saying free a TPL card. But TPL cards are free anyway, so I think they're just when they have a big sign that says free, 
it always catches people's attention. Let's see if they got something. Oh, look, if they got a little camp tending here. And we're gonna eventually go make our way, get some Trini food, Trinidadian. So I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, try some of this um, food from Trinidad and Tobago. Who knows? This looks like a lot of fun. And you don't have to be a newcomer here. <laughs> That's just up ahead right here. Trinidad and Tobago. Hey, how you doing, Trinidad? Is it okay? Can I, is it okay? Here? Later. So what, what do you got here? Uh, Oh, okay. I had some the other day, actually, somewhere else. Yeah. I visited the St. Joseph Hospital in Parkdale, and the cafeteria had a very good double that day. They were very good. Yeah, I, I, this is the first thing that caught my eye when I saw the Trinidad and Tobago flag, and then, oh, you have the food ready, so, yeah, how much is it? $4. Yeah. Okay, sure. Is it okay if you give, like, a brief, like, um, explanation, or um, is it, like, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is your recipe? Do you have um, a restaurant or um... I, I don't have a restaurant, I just do pop -up. Oh, you do? Okay. All right, can't wait to try it. My beautiful friend. Well, I got some um, Trini food here, a double, and we'll try it out here. Good, smells good. Hopefully I can get the right angle right here. Let me see. Let's try this out. Met a, met a nice lady for a, named Patricia. And she also does catering too. And pop-up events like this. Let's give this a go here. So it's really cool. They got a little bit of cucumber here and a chickpeas. Really cool. Nice, very nice flavor. Very flavorful. They got corn here. I'll give a better description of what's in here. Now she, she says in true Trinidadian style, you gotta eat it with your hands, but you know me, my friends, I got to. Nice, nice, nice $4 treat here. the entire view here. You enjoy yourself some delicious food today. And big shouts out to Kay. Big shouts out to the awesome Kay who gave me the heads up for the newcomer day festival here. And I'm really glad I came. Got some cool freebies, met some nice people. I'll try and get an interview before the video wraps up.
my beautiful friend. I'm gonna wash it down with some coffee here. So, so you see the food trucks have opened. There's people on the upper walkway, which will definitely, uh, will definitely go up. And we'll also go to the upper, which green podium there, where, where uh, some people have managed to uh, discover. Take a walk here. Just have some tasty uh, Trinidadian food. Oh yeah, here, I was gonna use the one times here. It's great. You see people from so many different nationalities. And we'll head up, get some different uh, camera angles here before we ride up. up. I'm all about the elevation, the elevated views. Salvation Army over there. I think they're offering free English. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna check Desjardins again to see if they have, probably not, probably not till a couple hours later. So you have, they have more of those um, really cool bags that people were going nuts for. Oh well, that's okay. Some people cheated and they went, they didn't uh, scan and they just came by the booth and just took it. Oh well, whatever. Let's go up here. And you see how incredibly stable the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max, but right now I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro. That's a cool view. Let's see if I can get one of Old City Hall, which is ringing right now, or was 11 o'clock. The Toronto sign and sit Toronto City Hall. Yes. Yes. And uh, maybe up here somewhere, or at least at some point, we'll try to talk to some, some people. And they've removed the barrier here about time. Really no need to have it unless it's, um, you know, really, unless it's icy. We don't have to, pretty sure we don't have to worry about that. A lot of people here already. I wish I could fire up a live stream. But right now I have to be on standby. That's why we've got this video here. And get out there and enjoy my amazing friends because you deserve to enjoy even sometimes the simple things in life. Like our great friend James Cash says, just enjoying the beautiful day. Sometimes simplicity is where it's at. Try to get an overhead view here of the Toronto sign. You can see, look at, look at the turnout. And it's just gonna get even more and better. 
not even lunchtime yet. I'm sure um, there'll be a lot of locals here too. Let me see if I can zoom. Right now I'm using the two time zoom. And we're gonna we're gonna make our way to the uh, the main gates are closed there at the Upper Green Podium. But we know we've uh, done it many times throughout the live streams. Gone up there, like I've said, it's kind of like a magnetic force. Queen Street West, and you know some of these food trucks are. Uh, people, new um, newcomers or who've immigrated to to Canada not maybe not long ago and trying to make an honest living and bringing with them uh, delicious food from wherever country. And obviously, that was definitely when asked by Graham or sorry. Um, Gotham and definitely it's all about the people when it comes to Toronto the multiculturalism food it's really incredible back to the wide angle and we'll get uh, almost a bird's eye view of what Here, that Toronto is so supportive of newcomers, and it's not easy when you move to a different country. And this is uh, it's really awesome to help the newcomers to settle in a little bit. Eventually, when they do open up the main gates, this little slope here, can't wait to walk on it. Although, to be honest, it is a bit of a workout, more so, much more so than when you walk, get here by the stairs. So, I often take this way anyways. I'm gonna run a little bit, try and get ahead of the people. And even though right now, the, my hand was wobbly and my iPhone was uh, shaking a little bit, when you see the final video, I'm really, it's gonna be smooth as butter. Let's get up here. Almost like a hidden gem, you could say, in Toronto. And I already gave away my one of my secrets, one of my favorite places to. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna walk around there. I just want to, all I want to do is just to show the overhead view, and then I'll go maybe take a, maybe do some meditation or just relax a little bit up here. I don't think there's anything to show. beyond this point. Well, I mean, you know, related to Newcomer's Day. Here is great and depending on the time of day, you get the sun right on you. So if you were kind of sitting here, you get the sun directly on you.
Great to see, great energy here. Many people here are newcomers and not all, like me, some local for sure. I'd love to meet some new, that's one of the things to try and make new friends. Not always easy in a big city. You know, make a new friend or at least, you know, be friendly with someone. You never know who you'll meet. All right, hope you enjoy this, my awesome friends. Have a wonderful day.